Hey everyone, this is the Monos Triple One, and we are playing Dragon Guard 2. Last time, actually, quite a bit of stuff happened. First, we went to the city of Rust to find the Masked Man, which we did, and he decided to help us out. By the way, the Masked Man's name is Eric. <clears throat> and then the Knights found us, and then they were chasing us all around the city until we were finally got to the front gate where we tried to break out, but then the One Eyed Man appeared, and then pretty much cut up a lot of knights, and then Legna showed up right after that and got us out of there. So, now we are going to try and get away from the city of Rust and then go from there. So, we're going to go ahead and get this going. Apparently the mask or the one-eyed man might be some kind of enemy or such. They thought through our plan. This is going to be difficult. They've even got the skies covered. our way through. Hold on tight. So now we just gotta take care of all the enemies here, all the planes and the planes, and try and get away. What do these planes just get? They like to come up from behind these ones and then just fly a little bit ahead and shoot you a bit from missiles that are in the back. And God almighty, there's another one that shoots on me like that. And they'll shoot some of those yellow missiles at you and try and get you. But they like to come at you from the back way where you can't get you. Or where you can't get them. Try and hit them with flame burst. There. One of them gone. And I'm dead. Okay, leg and I got a level up, that's good. It was only at level 12. Okay, here's another ray for us. We'll go ahead and use that. Apparently, Legna and Yurik have a bit of a thing going on. They don't really like each other too much. At least, Legna doesn't seem to like Yurik joking around like that. Just finish things up here. Almost got him. Someone who seems to have a bone with Tick for a year, that's for sure. Just take care of this last blimp and we should be done. There we are. So it takes care of all of them and now we got us a battleship to take out. Here comes a big one. And there's only the battleship. There, I took out a bit of the side and just went on the GXP. Now we're just gonna shoot the battleship itself. Done and like they got another level up. Now it's at 14. Just gotta wait for it to crash now. With the big boom. And it's mission complete. If we wait, we'll lose the initiative. We should strike what we still can. Just drop it, no way. Gentlemen should probe. Classic. 
enemies with everyone in the group, not just Noe and Yurik, like, the mana really hates them. And by the way, <clears throat> the reason why Noe says that one I man kill, killed General Orr is because he was the one that attacked the District of Shining Light three years ago. And he probably could have been able to beat him if <clears throat> General Gizmore decided to not to put poison in the water. So we'll go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and start the mission again. Yeah, I'm going to be going all out with this one here, I think. So it's going to be quite a few videos. Still pretty good. And so we have us quite a bit of a light. As you see, we have us up quite a bit of nice and a big line up here. You have to kill some of them, but not too many. But I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and kill them all here, just to get out of the rest of the XP. As you see here, we're going to be following in that big, big line up right to the district. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be killing all these knights here between No Way, Mana, and Yurik. Get some good EXP. Well, not good, but some EXP. Because while all these knights are here, I might as well cut them up and get some EXP. So, I will probably edit out a lot of this, and I will see you in a little while. And we are back again. As you can see here, we still have a bit of a ways to go, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them with Lake and now. The reason why is because if you get too close to the district of the castle itself there, then I'll just go straight into the next bit and all these knights disappear. So I'm going to go ahead and use this inferno. Firestorm, man. See, we got us a lot of kills right there, a lot of damage. We need to kill all of them, though. And of course, there are some archers right up here, and they have some unique, their own unique kind of attack as well when you're on the ground. Basically, yeah, as you can see here, their arrows are kind of like light, light enchanted. They're very much like that on the ground as well, except they fire a lot faster and they are able to break your guard. So they fire a lot at once, you are vulnerable. You block one, but then the others will hit you and it's practically a killing move. There are a few more over here. I'll try and get rid of the rest of them here with the merciless talons, I guess. So that's all the magic we have for it. Took care of quite a bit more. Not as much as last time, but that's alright. So this is the castle of the precious life. Looks like the knights are in firm control here, too. Yeah. Some people call it the Citadel of Light. It's not just some backwater fort, you know? Oh, no. Come on, let's get inside. We have no time to wait. Let's go. Yeah, but before we can get inside, we have to take care of some magicians that are flying around. Oh, 
they are putting up a fight here for you because these guys here you gotta take on the ground. And see here, you really don't have to worry about these elites, but you gotta get rid of the magician. I better get mana out there for that. And we even have some more knights running around. As well as some archers on the castle walls. Just right up around there. But for the time being, I guess I'll just gonna go ahead and take out all the magicians and knights that are around. I'll probably be editing this bit out here as well. So I will go ahead and continue to edit this out. And we are back again. There are only about these three magicians left. And then we are done with these guys. Okay, where's the last one? Okay, I guess we got them all. And as you can see, we now have some archers as well as some minotaurs. Man, they're pulling out all the stocks here. We got knights, magicians, monsters, all the work. So, you'll probably want to fly over there with Nagna like, like, and try and use the Dragon Overdrive, but no way, however, does not have any magic. So, I guess we can't do that. So, I'll just try and get his magic up right here by taking on some of these knights here. Actually, I do have Enchanted File. That can give us quite a bit of magic, and now we'll just go ahead and board Lake now. So, just lock on to anyone, and then use Infernal Firestorm. I'll get rid of the archers, because they are rather nasty, especially if there's a lot of them. And then all that will be left are the Minotaurs, because they're going to be pretty badly bruised, too. Not very much because they're pretty spaced out and very few of them, but that's alright. The key there was to get rid of all the archers. And now we'll want Yurik here to try and take him on. It's a good idea if you can get him to charge just right into something around over here. Because then they can stun themselves, but they can even use a charging attack on themselves and really throw themselves as well. Another thing I like to point out about Yurik is if he's not on the battlefield, if he is hurt and is not on the battlefield afterwards, that he can regenerate his own health. So that's a very big plus sign for Yurik. He can heal himself when he's off the battlefield. That's two, there's only one more. He's just right behind here. Oh man, he blew up a crate and then we lost 300 gold points. That's alright. Man. Like I say, I really hate Minotaurs because they like to charge a lot. And then you're just chasing them halfway across the battlefield. And now we got rid of him. So the outer limits have been destroyed, so just go to the temple. Or the castle. You can even go ahead and fly, but if you do, then there's a massive surprise in the air. What do we get? Flying brain! So now we gotta take care of some of these guys. At least they don't go in the shadowy form over here when they're closer to the... Since they're in the air. So you just gotta take care of some of these guys. Man, they really are pulling out all the stuff. And we got them. And now will give us a check. We're just about done. Let's go inside. Yeah, if you don't go and take out the friends, then you don't get the chest. So what do we get in the chest? Let's see. It's the weapon. Apparently it's an axe for your so we just head to the gate and it's mission complete. This door is locked. I don't see a keyhole. There must be some other way to open it. This looks like the 